Ladies and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Amy and I'm a cruelty-free makeup enthusiast and blogger. And so today I wanted to play with makeup. I wanted to do a full face of black-owned brands. So I have all these palettes here. I've got some foundations, concealer, powder. I've got a new contour stick that I want to try out. So I'm going to actually talk while we do this because there's a bunch of things I do want to talk about and I feel like I, I should at least, you know, make more statements and talk more about certain things and especially what's going on in the world. So I'm going to zoom you in and we can do our makeup together. The first thing I'm going to do is actually go in with this giant Juvia's Place concealer. This is in the shade 23. It's a little bit light for me, so that's why I'm going to do concealer first and then prime my eyes with this as well. I unfortunately don't have a face primer from a black owned brand, but I am going to work on that. I think I have everything except for primer, um, mascara, eyebrow pencil, and lashes. So I think I have everything else. So this thing is also huge. Like, this is so much bigger than Shape Tape, and um, it's also much bigger than the Too Faced, the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer, but I actually really like this thing. It gives really good coverage, so if you ever want, like, full, full coverage, this is a really good option. I wanted to support Black-owned brands because not only do I think it's the right thing to do, um, but, you know, it, it just made me realize that as a cruelty-free um, consumer, as a blogger, um, you know, my, my stance is that we can make a difference, big or small, by the purchases that we make. So the choices that we make for the stores that we, or our businesses that we decide to uh, patronize, um, you know, it's, it's really important because it's sending a message. Every purchase is a vote, and I strongly believe that. So that is why it's really important to support cruelty-free black-owned brands, um, and, and it would be it would be very silly of me to, to not support that because it's kind of like my, my big stance on the channel is that, you know, what we buy is is our votes. So, um, you know, by being a cruelty-free consumer, it's already pretty like a political statement in a sense. So, um, you know, I, I, I just want to stand in solidarity um, with the Black Lives Matter movement and show my support to fight against injustice and systemic racism. So that concealer went down so good, gave me such a good base. Let's go on to foundation. I have my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I have two shades. I have Bali and Cairo. And I'm just gonna mix these together. So there's a lot of good resources out there. Um, I think, you know, a lot of people are saying, why are you being so outspoken? <laughs> Especially some, um, you know, people that I know, people in my, my personal life. And I say, well, because there's a problem. There's an ongoing problem. This country has hundreds of years of history of racism and inequality. I mean, I think it goes back to 1619 um, with, uh, with slavery. And then, you know, and it was in the Constitutional Convention in the 18th century when Congress made a compromise that slaves were three-fifths of a person and three-fifths of a person, they weren't equal to a complete human being. And the reason why they did that was so, you know, uh, southern states and particularly could um, count more people so they could have more seats in Congress and more pull, which is just insane. And then you go into things like Jim Crow laws that went, you know, into the 60s and just the unfairness and and yes, white privilege is a real thing. I know people don't want to admit it, but the thing is, it, it doesn't... It, acknowledging that white privilege exists does not take away the struggles from other people. So we all have really difficult lives. People have gone through immense struggles. It just means that your race hasn't contributed to those struggles, you know? And, and as a, a, a white person, you know, I haven't had to worry about certain things that were just being judged by the color of my skin it's just it's just insanity to me this whole thing and the injustices just keep happening so we have to say enough is enough 
and, and that's why I support this movement. So I think I'm actually gonna go in with that concealer again. I may regret this choice. Another thing that always grinds my gears is people, you know, using the Confederate flag and flying it around. You know, it's especially even stranger for like, I live in Connecticut and I see people like, it's on their cars and stuff. And I, I wonder, you know, people claim they're like so American and it's interesting because that flag represents treason against this country. All those generals who, who were part of the Confederate army, you know, they, a lot of them were from West Point. So they fought in the Mexican War for America, obviously. And then when the Confederacy came up and they were given opportunities to be generals in the Confederate army, they went against the oath to protect their country and committed treason by joining the Confederacy. That is a flag of treason. And why anyone flies it, being proud of it, is just beyond me. Not only that, but it's also aligned with an institution of slavery. So I, it's just, it's just crazy. I'm a huge Civil War buff. I mean, I did a Civil War intensive semester when I was an undergraduate um, at Gettysburg College. And, you know, I, I was very into military history. I found it fascinating. I've read so many books. Um, and it just, I just don't know, like, you know, and I find historically we could go to museums, we could read books, and I just, I don't understand the whole, like, pride thing that people take in it. It's very bizarre to me. So enough with the heavy, let's just continue talking about the makeup that I'm playing with. This is the Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter Setting Powder. This is an oak, which is their translucent shade. This is such a good powder. I don't know why I didn't have this in my life earlier. Okay, so while my under eyes bake, I have this new item. This is from Uwoma Beauty, which I've had my like eyes on them for quite some time, and I've been wanting to try their stuff forever. You can get these at Ulta. I'm not sure if they're in store at Ulta. I know Juvia's and Beauty Bakery is in store, um, especially at least locally for me, but I don't know about Uwoma, but I know you can buy their stuff online. This is their double take number three. So this is their sculpt and strobe stick in white pearl. They are so inclusive with their shade ranges too. Their stuff is so interesting. So I'm gonna use the contour side. It's a nice cool tone right there. Probably should have put this on before I put my powder under my eyes. Kind of regretting that decision, but that's okay. We'll work with it. There's so many brands that I want to try. I know that there are some lists that Logical Harmony has put together. I know Emily Wolf Beauty did one. And I think Ethical Elephant? No. Yes. Ethical Elephant might have done one too. I've put together a list, it's not very comprehensive, but it's a list of brands that I definitely know are cruelty free that I support or want to try. So um, I will have that link down below to my blog as a resource. Some of the brands that I really want to try is from Clarity Cosmetics. So that's an indie brand, I think it's owned just by one woman. And there is this palette that she has, I think it's called the Chocolate Palette the hot chocolate palette and it looks so good and her liquid lipsticks look good too and makeup addiction cosmetics is something i want to try there's just a bunch of brands I, I would really like brands that are kind of in the gray area to kind of come through at this point when it comes to cruelty free things so brands like fenty um I don't know if Pat McGrath is in the gray area because I think she tests when required, but I saw Sam Ravendahl use uh, a Pat McGrath palette in one of her videos, and I think Sam's supposed to be cruelty free, so I don't know, maybe she knows something I don't, but um, I would like brands that are kind of like in the gray area to kind of come through, especially during this time, so, you know, to confirm their cruelty free status so we can support them. Let's put a little bit of the highlighter side on now too. So where the powder isn't underneath my eye, I'm just going to do it right at the tip top of my cheek. 
These are so creamy. Really, really pretty. Let's dust off this baking, the under eye, and on the side of the face. Now for blush, I have to talk about this because I love this palette. This is from Beauty Bakery. This is their Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Lighter Palette. I love the shades in here. This actually comes with like little things of like cotton candy looking uh, toppers right here and I just pulled them off because it's kind of hard to store with those. But isn't this so beautiful? I love Beauty Bakery because everything looks so delicious. I love the aesthetic. Like this flower actually comes in a little flower bag, which is adorable. I love the different shades that you have in this. Just if you want a glowy blush, this is so good. I'm actually gonna go into No Champagne, No Gain. This is this more like earthy, natural kind of shade at the bottom right hand corner. And you can use this as a highlighter or a blush or infuse them together. So I'm gonna go slightly higher um, along the cheekbone and apply this. I have a bunch of palettes right here to choose from. So I have two Juvia's Place ones. This, the Tribe is actually my favorite. I love this one because the greens. I love the brighter shades in here, Ugh, the deeper shades. I just so, it's such a beautiful palette. And then I also have the Nomad, which I love this one too for the fall. I love the shades in this one. But the one that's newest to my collection, I just got it, is the Awoma. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is the Black Magic palette, and I remember when this first came out, the shades were so grungy and pretty. They totally called to me. There's something that reminds me a little bit of the Subculture palette from Anastasia, but it is different. Like, I've swatched them against one another. They are different. So, and you have so much more shimmers and more greens in this palette. So let's just dip in with this one. We can actually... We can see if we could use the other palettes, but this is the main one that I want to play with. Plus my friend Lauren got it. She swatched this on her channel and I went, oh, I gotta get it. <laughs> it's so pretty, so I had to support and get it. So the eyeshadow brushes that I will be using are my Juvia's Place eyeshadow brushes. I've had these for over a year. I think they're fantastic. They're synthetic, of course, cruelty-free, love them. You get a nice variety here and I've, use them all the time. I want to go into this yellow so bad. This is, I think it's Os Osun or Oshun. This one right here. I love a good yellow. This is my first time trying their eyeshadow formula. So you're almost getting a first impression out of me. What I love about this big brush is it sets down a, a wide area for the transition shade. It's practically like the majority of my eye space. That went out nice and even too. I'm gonna go into the next largest brush that I have here, and I'm gonna go into the shade Lush, which is this nice deep forest green here. And I'm gonna go in the crease. Trying to be like light handed. So I love that it says allure at the top of this. It says the definition of allure is verb one, powerfully attract or charm. Which I think it's kind of cute that they have that at the top. They also have eyes of a goddess. Yes, please. You're looking at them in the mirror. That's so cute. I've heard really good things about the foundation and concealer from this brand too. I forgot who I was watching. They're like, maybe it was Sam Ravindal. She was saying that they make one of her favorite formulas when it comes to concealer. So I'll have to try that out too. I really, <laughs> I remember earlier this year being like, I'm not gonna buy any more foundation and concealer. And here I am like, I wanna try more foundation and concealer. Let's go into that purple. So this is the shade Opulence, and I'm gonna go in 
using this smaller brush right here. I'm just gonna go on the inner part of the lid, the outer part of the lid. And I'm just gonna do stamping motions and just kind of blend together. All right, we've got a we've got a smoky eye going here, like a smoky kind of halo eye. Should they have this flat brush here, which I think is really good for cut creases? So I'm just gonna cut the center of the lid, and we gotta put one of the shimmers on the lid. We absolutely have to. Now the question is, which shimmer do we want to go into? Because there's some really beautiful metallics here. There's like more of like a yellow here, there's a gold, these greens though. There's this one called Allure that has like a green but pinkish shift in it. And I think that's the one I want to go for. I just want to douse my whole body in it, which I know is really weird, but this like shimmery, shiny things have this effect on me. Now we've got to try to blend this all kind of back together. So I'm going to go back into opulence and I'm just going to go in on either side of the metallic that I put down just to kind of meld the two shades. And I'm really surprised because I've gotten absolutely no fallout from this. Next, I'm gonna go into this bright yellow gold shade. This is Enchantress, and I'm just using a pencil brush from Juvia's, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner near the tear duct. That is a gorgeous shade. I'm gonna take this little brush. It's like a much more smaller detailing brush, and I'm gonna go back into Osan or Oshan, and I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. All right, so I'm going to hop off really quick. I'm just gonna put my lashes on and some mascara and I will be right back. Lashes are on, I did a little bit of yellow in my waterline, so I actually used my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is in Punch. So what's left to do is, I think I just wanna put a little bit more highlight on the brow bone and then we'll move on to lips. So there is, is a shade, well, I'm getting tongue tied here, called Lady in Gold. Wow. I'm really, really impressed with this full face of makeup. I'm gonna go in with Lady of Gold on a Sigma brush, and I'm just gonna put it Oh, that's so pretty as a highlighter. You know, more is more, just keep adding more. <laughs> All right, so for the lips, I have two lipsticks here that I've had in my collection for some time. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. This is my Colored Rain in the shade Serene. This is a beautiful mauve that I absolutely love. I've worn this a lot in pictures on my blog. Um, there's several pictures of me on there and I'm wearing this lipstick. I think though that this shade will go a little bit more with the look. This is from Beauty Bakery. This is their Bastani Ice. And these are so cute. These are like their little lippy pops and they come in like little cake slice packaging and it's so cute and tiny. I just, I can't deal with the cuteness. So let's put this on. Thank you guys so much for listening to me today. You know, I know that I'm not really an influencer. I have a very, very small following um, with hopefully a lot of cruelty-free enthusiasts such as yourselves. You guys are my friends and I love talking to you. Um, I don't really make AdSense because I have so very few subscribers. So if I did have AdSense, I would have definitely donated it. Um, but I have made a donation to Black Lives Matter and I encourage you to do the same. I encourage you to do research. Um, petitions, um, 
you know, follow organizational groups like Reclaim the Block, Black Lives Matter. Um, I think they're really, really important to support. And I know I have to do better with showing cruelty-free Black-owned brands on my channel and on my blog and Instagram. So I'm really going to try to be just more aware of that. I also know that I have to even reevaluate brands that I currently use that are cruelty-free that might not line up, um, you know, with this movement. And, um, you know, I'm going to have to start really taking a good look at my collection and seeing, you know, and, and weed out items um, from companies that I don't really agree with or, or people associated with the companies that I don't agree with. So thank you so, so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked this content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, remember to stay compassionate and chic. Bye!